Good morning. And today I have a really easy, simple Greek beef recipe for you that cooks in the crock pot all day. So when you come home from work or you're ready at the end of the day to make a nice, easy sandwich with um, the Greek beef or over the top of pasta, you have an absolutely wonderful meal. This is super, super simple. Okay, so let's get started. So you need a chuck roast. I have one that is almost three pounds. I purchased this one at Aldi's. So we wanna just cut that open, put the crock, the roast at the bottom of the crock pot. Super simple. Okay, so we got that in there. I'm gonna press that down. I use my fingers, so. Okay, so put that in the bottom of the crock pot. Like I said, this is super simple. One cup of water. Just pour it in like that. Two chicken bouillon or a tablespoon and a half if you don't have the cubes. It's up on my shirt. Oh, oh, of course, this is going to be the, I don't have my reading glasses on, so I can't hardly see that. Okay, so put the two chicken bouillons in there. Oh my gosh, I should have done this ahead of time. Sorry, I can't get it open. They're rough little things. I usually buy the granules, but I had four of these left, so I wanted to use them up. Oh my gosh, I'm going to spend a whole minute getting these open. This is supposed to be quick. Okay, put that in there. Okay, two sticks of butter. Now this seems extreme, but this is what really makes the, the recipe really good is the butter. So two sticks of butter. And this sits in the crock pot all day. And you want it to be nice and calm. Okay, butter. Okay, now, so you can do a tablespoon and a half of Greek seasoning. If you have Greek seasoning, Greek seasoning is super easy to make too. So I am going to use a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of onion powder, but that's about what I have left. So I'm going to put that in there teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of parsley, so that was four different spices, or you can use the Greek, uh, just a Greek seasoning that you already buy. Oops, I did too much. Okay, that's about the amount of parsley we need. Okay, and we're going to plug in the crock pot and we're gonna let this simmer all day long and we will have Greek beef for dinner. So I put it on a toasted bun with like pepper jack cheese over the top and some pickles and you have the best meal ever. Okay, the Greek beef has been in the crock pot all day. And so you know it's done when it basically falls apart when you're lifting it up. So what you wanna do now is you wanna pull off the fat and then you're just gonna shred it. Like it just comes apart like that. And that's what you, that's your Greek beef right there. And then you put it back with a little bit of the liquid um, to store it. It's done.